Hi guys, Luton here. Uh, tonight, tonight was a bad night. It sucked, okay? It was just an irritate. I thought, okay, I, I'll get on for an hour. I thought, I'll just do an hour's games. That's enough time. First off, this, okay, this. I cannot find a match, and everyone is having this problem, but I just thought I would put this here to illustrate how irritating it is. Not only, I I did I couldn't be bothered to change my server browser, so I'm just on, uh, it just seems to be on the close quarters maps. Anyway, Junk's House of Junk, 500%, uh, 200%, 200%, 400%. Oh, God, in the end I went for this. Toker, Toker 41, I was like, okay, it's like a map and I don't know and I thought I'd just have a little look down the list here yeah seems to be okay rules I don't know whatever so I kind of gave up also at this point okay so I thought tonight I was like okay I'll, I'll hop on everyone's been commenting all week about how much fun they've been having on my server so I go to play nobody there I was like oh okay I thought I you know told people when to come and uh, I from all the messages I've been getting, I thought that people were having a really good time playing on my server all the time. Turns out, no. And when I spoke to um, one of the guys there this evening, and he was saying to me that, yeah, basically after I left a match the other night, everyone left straight after I left. I was like, okay, this is kind of defeating the point of the whole purpose of my server. So please, guys, um, I'm going to try and get on tonight, okay? This is tonight, which is the uh, 11th, I think. Uh, yeah, 11th of July. I'm going to try and get on tonight for some games, so please, uh, 10 GMT, um, I may or may not be on around that time, but a little bit later on as well, 7 EST. So if you're around and you want to get on, please do so. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll be there, so if anyone else is there, if people don't turn up after, say, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, then I'll just play something else but if you're there get on that time I'll be on we'll have some good games but please guys you know I've got my server up I've told everyone the two times that they need to be there for if you turn up there with a few people if everyone tries to go there wait 10 minutes or so see if other people come in you can have some great games and do so every day I don't need to be in that server I've said already I can't play every day but I will get on as I can and you know this last week has just been really busy for me okay so Close quarters, and uh, I was using the M5K because I kind of like this gun to begin with uh, on on Special Zebra. Um, so I was kind of using it, and you can see, look, we're about how many tickets down? 400 tickets down, something like that, roughly about that. Anyway, so I was thinking, okay, not a huge amount of chance that we're really gonna be able to to turn this game around here. But um, I'd had such a bad night already; I'd kind of given up. Um, as I say, I jumped on my server and um, I was just having some fun flying around and doing things and um, yeah, there was two guys on the other, you know, there's only four of us on a on a four a four base conquest in Mon and um, I was just screwing around really, it was no, I was just driving around in buggy trying to like uh, kickflip my buggy and uh, <laughs> drive it over stuff which was kind of fun. But then I, I went to play with Noz and um, I got on a team deathmatch and it was oh, it was like 5v4 or something on Metro team deathmatch and it was just awful. It's like oh, team deathmatch is not my most favourite game mode in the world anyway but it's worse when you have those kind of numbers. Oh this guy with the spaz. Right. This guy with the spaz was seriously getting on my nerves. He's using slugs, and also at this stage, um, a couple of people had said before about my uh, sensitivity being too high, and I was—I just felt like I couldn't get quite enough control, so I just put it down a little touch there. So some people have been asking about that. You just got to tweak it to how you feel. You know, there is no setting. You got to feel what's right for you. Anyway, yeah, this guy with the spaz—you'll see. Okay. The spaz, the range he gets, and it's because he's using slugs, basically, he's using slugs, and the slugs with the spaz seems to be very, very effective. I would say potentially a little bit too effective. I'm not going to complain, because as I've said before, um, I've had a few people comment this week, I've had like uh, Lizzie and a couple of other people ask me about um, weapons and stuff like that, and saying like, do you think this gun's overpowered, do you think... My basic opinion, as I've said, I said this with the USCS, I said this with the Dart, unless you get a situation where over half the entire other team are all using the same weapon on like many games that you play I don't see that it's enough of a problem if there's one guy and he's getting like the occasional irritating kill on you just man up and deal with it seriously you know it's like it's not gonna happen to you every game and this guy with the spaz yeah he pissed me off in this game but I got some kills on him and yeah you know it all comes out in the wash doesn't it so anyway 
So yeah, I, I wasn't really feeling, my morale was not high this evening after the, the couple of games that we played and also I was really looking forward to coming onto my server and I was the people be there and I thought yeah I can just I can just jump in for an hour and just play some excellent games. It was just deserted and I was just like uh and then it was all crap and I wasted time and it was just uh. So I thought okay whatever. And so I'm actually kind of glad that I got onto Zebra because uh, Zebra is great for this kind of exactly what I wanted, which was just screwing around, messing around, which just highlights the point of what these maps are good for, you know? After that and at this time of the evening, I just was like, I'm not up for like some hardcore rush game where people are playing out hard against each other. All I wanted was a good, fun this, you know, a bit of objective gameplay and a bit of fun, you know, shooting. Don't want to have too much to worry about, just run around and it's exactly what I got, you know, this was great. It, it gives you everything you want from Battlefield, but without some of the frustration, you know. And um, yeah, I was talking about those low number TDMs. Uh, low number TDMs are the worst, because you invariably get, let's, let's say it's kind of like 5v5. You're going to have like two people who are hardcore camping, which we had. You're going to have one of the two other people running around all the time, which we also had. And then you're going to have one guy that you just don't see for the entire round, like ever. And that, there was one guy there, I just I just never saw him. I don't know where he was, I just never saw him for the whole round. And um, the thing that irritates me the most though, is that when you have more players on a TDM like that, you can, you know, there's enough people that you can kind of buffer around them, if that makes sense. You can kind of, you know, you run into people and then you think, okay, I've cleared this area, so I know this is clear, so I don't have to worry too much about it. I can move forward. And... Um, once you've done that, it kind of gives you a bit more control. When you have so few people on the server that you basically, you know, you don't know where they are, you just end up moving around the map. And I, I don't like staying in one place because it, you know, it feels cheap and it's a bit irritating and it's boring as well because, you know, someone may or may not come past you, you know. So I like to keep moving. I try and move between buildings, etc, etc. And um, the problem with that is, and this is exactly what happened to me, you'll be moving around, moving around, moving around, moving around, and then all of a sudden some guy will come and knife you because he happens to have just come out of a doorway or he was sitting somewhere or he spawned and saw you run past. So you'll have been moving around cleverly and just by pure chance someone will appear and take you out. That's my main kind of gripe with it is that it all it ends up becoming about odds. It's just like a roll of the dice whether or not you know someone actually appears next to you and, and takes you down and that kind of irritates me and I know it's the kind of thing that annoys level cap because you know he's talked about how he hates chance he likes there's no skill it, it's just about you know do you happen to be at a certain place at the exact certain time that this guy was and you know it does become less less enjoyable okay so it looks looking at this game now um, you can see that you know we've managed to basically pull it back um, we've closed the gap quite a lot and we're still fighting forward and um, you also notice at the start that these guys had like squads closed which annoyed the hell out of me because I basically couldn't get in a squad so I was on my own for ages but um, I decided you know I'm gonna fight for this I could see that we were heavily down but I thought yeah I'm gonna bring it to them I wanna get some kills I was annoyed and I haven't played um, I've been so busy this week I've had family stuff, I've had you know friends stuff, I've had work stuff, so I've had it all this week and for that reason I haven't really been on many evenings because I've been absolutely knackered um, but um, yeah I wanted to get on this evening and I, I will get on tomorrow as well but I should also say I'm going to be away the next weekend, I'm probably going to try and do one video um, so that I can post something over the weekend but um, I won't be around so don't expect a lot of videos from me this weekend. Um, but stay tuned for the next week because I'll try and you know put something up then. I knew that guy was to my left. Um, I didn't want to bother turning to shoot him because I already had the other guy in my sights. So that's why I didn't turn. Um, I've noticed this as well when a lot of my videos when um, when people sort of notice that I didn't turn to get someone or they think I deliberately missed someone etc etc. Most of the time, um, if I'm in a game, what happened? Where did that guy go? Oh, he got killed. Oh, come on. Ah, fail, fail, fail from me. Oh, yeah, I remember this game. People kept resing me. I was, like, running out of ammo. I kept going to my main gun. I was, like, out of ammo. But, um, yeah. What was I talking about? Uh, I don't know. I'm so tired. What was I talking about? Bum, 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 bum. And just bumble along. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was talking about how um, people comment about yeah when I miss something or I don't see someone. 
Most of the time I have spotted them, I've just made a deliberate choice not to actually go for them for whatever reason happens to be in that situation. So the guy on my left, I saw him, I knew he was there, I knew I was going to get killed, but the likelihood was that if I turned to fire, he was already aiming at me, so he probably would have just killed me, I would have got no kill. So I decided, seeing as the other guy was in my sights, I would try and just put some rounds and hopefully take him out, which is what happened, and I went down as well, which is bad luck, but you can't have it all, can you? But um, I've been trying to do as much as I can this week, and as I say, I'm really busy. My time is short at the moment. I'm just, you know, I haven't had a lot of time to do a lot of content. Um, preparing videos and things takes ages, especially some of the more complicated ones. And um, I've, I've been trying to, you know, I've got several ideas, but it's just finding the time to actually put them into place. And, you know, there's a couple I needed to make little graphic animations for, which takes time. Also, can I just point out, that, you know, the thing that I always say about warranting you know picking up a weapon uh, this is a gun I just picked up the M416 and um, you know you need to be aware of how other guns handle if you're in a situation people saying like how you know okay if you run out of ammo etc etc so with my AK that thing will cane through your ammo and um, you know I generally will run with something like that on a map like this because I don't expect to live most of the time longer than two or three kills Unfortunately, in this round, I kind of did. I kept getting kills, getting kills, and I wasn't going down. It just meant that I was running through my ammo and changing out to my pistol, etc. So I ended up killing one of my guy, killing an enemy, and picking up his weapon. And this is a really nice gun, and luckily it had like a hollow one and stuff like that. So again, it was really nice uh, sort of selection. Um, it meant that I could just pick up the gun and carry on the game. But if you only ever stick with one gun. You're never going to be able to do that. And I know some people will say, oh, well, I wouldn't be in that situation because I would either get killed or I'd pick up ammo from a teammate or whatever, you know. But I, I, I just don't think that's a good, um, I don't think that's a good philosophy. Um, I like to be able to be versatile and just change into something, you know, uh, the drop of a hat. And so I try to change my weapons around. I try to get used to them, I try to try different combinations of things and so on and so on and so on. Um, and I've been trying to just build up my general awareness as well of like what combinations of uh, attachments go best with what guns and in what situations to use them and stuff and stuff. I mean, it's all a learning thing, you know, you learn as you go through the game how things go. And um, I've never been a weapons expert, that's not me, you know, I, I don't spend huge amounts of time testing through the guns. Oh, look at these glitches again, I seriously pissed off with this. I wish they would fix some of these things in the game. I'm, I'm a calm person, but I do get tired of, um, well, most of the time I'm a calm person, but I do get tired of things like this, you know, like the audio glitch. They even announced that they fixed it when it blatantly wasn't. The day that they announced that was fixed, I got on, and within the first two games I played, it immediately came back again, and I was just like, come on now, seriously? But I'm sure they're doing the best they can and etc etc. I don't like to beat on, you know, the guys over there because I know they work hard and they do their best, but it is irritating. And it does interfere with your gameplay, but I don't know, like I said before at the end of the day. So anyway, um whilst it may not appear that I'm doing that great, um, I actually twenty seven and four at the most, so thanks in part to the people resurrecting me all the time, which helps keep my uh, deaths down. So this round's kinda going okay. Bad luck Tau. Tao's in my clan, he's a great guy, good player, but um, apparently he got kicked by the uh, admin of the server this round, he was telling me. I'm not sure why that was, but um, obviously they didn't want a good player on their team. <laughs> I guess they wanted to lose. So as you can see, we've closed the gap um, still, but not by a lot, to be honest. We're still 66 to 228, so it's not going particularly well for us. This game does go on a little bit more. Looks like I've got about seven minutes left. What the hell am I going to talk about for about? <laughs> I am finding it more and more difficult. Like I've said, I've got some ideas of videos I want to do, but I'm finding it more and more tricky to um, come up with constant battlefield things. I mean, it actually ties in a little bit with the video I made earlier about have you seen it all before? And um, you know, I've had I had multiple people ask me recently about like, do you want to do dual commentaries about stuff? Blah blah blah. And I'm kind of like, yeah, I do, but I don't really, <laughs> I'm starting to, I've, I've done so many Battlefield videos now, and you know that I'm not one of these people that likes to just talk crap over the videos. Um, I try to do these little ones, I try to, you know, I talk a little bit about the game, and I talk a little bit about me, and what I'm thinking about in general, so I'm talking about that. But I'm not one of these people that can just talk random crap over a game and slap it out every day. Um, it's not me at all. And because I don't do weapon things, that's the other thing, I'll talk very quickly just about that, I have mentioned it before, but 
people often say, oh, can't you do weapon things, can't you do this? Well, the one thing is that I always feel like if someone's doing something better, then why should you bother? And there's, there's great people that do weapons things. There's level cap, there's in the works media and stuff like this. These guys, they cover these things completely. Why would I need to do an extra video? You know, why would I need to? They've got it completely covered. They have it in much more detail than I would probably do it. So there's no need for me to do it, you know? And yeah, okay, it would probably get me some views. It might even get me some subs or whatever. But that's not the point. That's not me. That's not That's not where I, you know, that's not, not my perspective. That's not how I think about these things. Um, the other thing for me is that I've said to some people, it's like, with with FPS games, after a while, what else is there to say? I mean, you know, I, I have got some tactical things. I've still got stuff to come, you know, I've got things written down, I've got ideas about stuff that I could do. But more and more, I'm starting to sort of feel like, okay, you know, beating a dead horse a little bit, you know, or flogging a dead horse, however you like to say it. And, um, you know, I've done a lot of stuff now, and from Bad Company 2 as well. Oh, that was a nice little kill there, just letting it run, ride up. But, um, yeah, you know, seriously, there's been a lot about Battlefield, and um, I, I can't... I've watched this, watch this. Look at that range with the spurs, and it's because he's using the slug. It allows to get those long-range kills. And, um, you know, I've done M10s with the slug before, and I think I showed in my, my, my shotgun video at the time. You can get, like, insane ranges with the slug. You really can. And again, look, same guy. I just, you know, because I didn't know this one. And again... <laughs> me into the ground oh my god i was i was raging guys i was raging i was just like <laughs> uh, it's all good it's all good anyway look we've closed the gap a little bit but we're still way behind we're behind by thirds this is exactly the kind of game that i love and it's the kind of game where i've been saying recently i'm like you know if you're in a game and you're losing don't just quit or give up fight fight to the end because you really, you know, these kind of games are much more exciting. It's exciting when you come right down to the end. And, you know, you've literally got that last, you know, my laser sight doing all the work here. Laser sight, laser attachment, whatever. You know. um, it's great when you can really fight for the end. And, you know, you come right down to the last few tickets and um, push the win. Look at the gap we're closing now. It's literally only almost uh, 60 in it. Or 60 or 70 in it. But also, this is a good video. This is a good example of momentum, which I was talking about in the other video the other day. Um, you know, we've managed to take control of this situation by using momentum, pushing from one base to the next, not allowing them to get a foothold, and just... This was awful. Look at... What the hell? Bloody MP7 as well. It's my worst enemy. Anyway, yeah, by not allowing them to get a foothold, and we've been pushing them, pushing them, pushing them, pushing them, managed to maintain two bases most of the time, and, you know, just not allow them to secure. When I entered the game, they obviously had a strong kind of control over the game, and most of my players, it seemed, were not really pushing forward. Ah, oh, again with the spaz. Come on. Yeah, my good guy gets the knife. Um, so, yeah, momentum. It just shows a good example of how that can be used real-time in games and so on and so on. So, yeah, this has been another Battlefield one. <laughs> you have to forgive my kind of uh, muted non-excitement but to be honest this evening was not an exciting evening for me and I even struggled to get excited despite the fact that this round was quite awesome and um, I think in on a better evening I would have been like yes but no it really yeah uh, I, I, even when we were getting towards the end here and I knew I'd sort of had a reasonably okay game I was still like blah 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 see I could have got the knife revenge on that guy but I didn't I didn't I held my restraint Possibly the reason I was running out of ammo too much is because I'm literally just spamming anyone when I, when I go near them, I just like, empty the clip. The AK is very bad for that. I'm really bad for the AK. I, I should really try to burst it more, and I don't. I tend to just empty the clip when I see someone. It's really, really bad. That's why the KH-2002 is so much better for me, because I have to control it. Um, whereas with something like the AK, I will just literally just open fire and just take them out. Let's see if I do it any better on the next one. Oh, he knifed me in the face. Anyway, anyway. Right, we're coming up to the end here, guys. And, um, you know, we'll see which way this goes. We're still losing, but maybe we can turn it around. Um, but um, I just want to remind people, please, the server, okay? I made my video about it. I said for people to get on, okay? Two times you can get on my server, all right? It's going to be always good maps. 
and normal rules okay no 200 percent tickets no stupid banning of things no shotguns c4 etc okay just normal good games so i really hope that when i get on tomorrow i see some people on there okay for 10 o'clock in the uk and seven o'clock in the us est seven est all right so get online i will come online i will play i will record and i will post some videos up all right so get on and then please okay over the weekend i'm not going to be here but i really hope that everyone takes advantage of the fact that i've got a server up with normal rules and good map choices okay because i really really think that there's too much you know there's too many crappy servers those are the times when you can get on of an evening but if you want to get on earlier than that or for example the weekend all day long okay guys if people can hop on together if you get a bunch of people together so you can get on and wait um if you wait around people will fill up the server or for example you know if you're waiting on the server with three or four people you can post up on one of my youtube videos say i'm on looting server right now do you want, anybody want to hop on and hopefully maybe some people will get on there um but you know start favoriting my server start telling people about it start using it if if i can get my server to be regularly active with people coming and joining and stuff and people really focus on the style of gameplay that i've been talking about we want to get objective good you know really hard everyone playing to win um everyone pushing forward and really you know playing their best it, we can make it a really fantastic place to go to you know it's so difficult right now as i showed at the beginning here to get any kind of constructive battlefield server i really want to make my server the place where people can go for that kind of gameplay anyway so this was this round we turned it around we won i had an okay round it was the only round i played tonight so can't complain but um thanks for watching guys and um i'm sorry if this one has been a kind of fairly muted commentary from me but pretty tired this week and also this evening didn't really peak my morale so anyway more to come very soon thanks for watching guys